thank you for joining me today. I just thought it would be a lot of fun if we actually take a look at Transformers Beast Wars um, Cheetor. I actually got this guy off of Walmart.com and just a little bit of disappointment when I actually got him. That's what happened. Yeah, I was a little bummed. I kind of wanted to do it myself. I wanted to just pry him right off the, of the cardboard. But anyway, here we have the back of the packaging. And here we have Cheetor. So let's get this guy out of packaging. Here we have Cheetor out of the packaging, and oh my god, does this just bring back memories. Oh my god, my brother and I, we had these figures when we were younger, and just having it back in hand is just, <laughs> brings back memories. This is, this is incredible. Um, I don't know if it's actually the original mold. Uh, I know it's original mold, but I just don't know if this is the original, original uh, Cheetor. But I, I'm just, I'm just amazed by this. This is an incredible retro figure. Uh, this is, this is incredible. The green, the green eyes. Um, just the little white teeth that we have on the, the fangs that he has, the black nose, his spots, the blue that we have in the back here, the little blue that's showing up. I understand the concept that was going, so I'm not going to be really net, this nitpicky about the blue showing up underneath the belly. This is, this is awesome. Just want to show off what Cheetor looked like when he's actually on the table. Posability, uh, and animal mode, or beast mode. Not so much in the front legs, because that's due to transformation. But the back legs, you can get some poses out of that, so... That's still nice, but I, it, despite of the lack of posability of moving its limbs in its beast mode, I still love it. Nostalgia for me. Uh, this is this is an incredible um, walking down memory lanes. I, I'm I'm loving it. All right, let's start off by removing the tail. So we want to remove that. And we're just going to take a moment and we're just going to transform the tail. And now that will become his weapon. So I like that. What we're going to do, we're just going to straighten out the legs. And then we're going to come in by the feet, bring them out. Just like so. Going to remove his belly gun. I love this because what was nice, if you filled up a glass of water and you extend it in, you can actually, uh, the back part is squishy, so you can actually squirt out water out of this. That, that was, I like that detail. I like that. That makes them some fun play value. And then we turn at the thigh so we have just like that and then we're going to bring out these legs just like so we're just going to bring the arms out by bringing oops We actually want to turn at the waist, which is very tight. And now we want to bring that down. Okay. Now we want to bring out the arms. Okay. Let's get them right there. 
let's get that right there and we're just going to turn up the bicep kind of straighten out the arms and now we're going to take the head rotate it and want to sneak it in there we have cheetor forder <laughs> there we have cheetor fully transformed and what's nice is you can actually flip the head so you can do the mutant look which is really cool let's see articulation we can the arms can rotate around can spread out do the transformation we do have a nice elbow legs can reach all the way back they can come all the way up to a certain point just due to the transformation and you do get a nice bend at the knee no ankle articulation like we showed you there is the waist which is absolutely tight but yeah this is a nice this is a nice retro toy i've it brings back memories here we have cheetor fully uh, armed up with his weapons and i love it i am loving it i do apologize i forgot to bring in the head scope so you can actually take a look at cheetor's head and um first i was light piping but it's not it's actually um, orange paint I love the blue face that they have there and the, the blue that we have on there in the forehead um, I love the metallic the metallic blue that they actually have on here I really do like that like I said this is a nice retro figure this is just fun I'm I'm loving it uh, the transforming back remove his weapons we're going to extend the head and then we're just going to turn leave it as so and we're just going to leave the head just like that we are then going to bring the, the arms in and then we want to start folding them up same thing on this side Oop. there we go and have that click under place. We're going to take this part and that will stay just like so. We'll then bring up these legs just like that. We're going to turn at the waist. We are then going to turn at the inner thighs. Close on the toes get those legs bent get his tail weapon and then we're just going to get it transformed back to be his tail and we have two ports and we do have two pegs so we're just going to get that in and the underbelly we're just going to get this part in between just like oh come on There we go. And now we have Cheetor fully transformed back into his beast mode. This is awesome. I just wanted to show a quick update from the retro version and from what we actually got from the Kingdom line. So we can totally see the difference in the updates. And as much as I love the retro, this is my favorite Cheetor. This is my favorite mold of the character. L looks like it just popped off right off the screen when I saw it was a cartoon. Um, this was a lot of fun playing as a kid. But just wanted to show you that. My final thoughts. Th this is a very much of a fun toy if, when it was back in the 90s. Um, is it worth picking up? I mean, absolutely. If you're a nostalgia for the 
for stuff back in the 90s, and if you're a fan of the Beast Wars, then absolutely, I highly recommend him picking him up. It's uh, He's a lot of fun uh, to play with. Um, at the time, I actually did purchase this off of Walmart.com. I got him around about $15, so that's why I say he's actually worth picking up. Uh, paying for what they were wanted at retail at $25, I would not pay $25. 15 yes, not 25 well, with that said, I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you can just do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button down below. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day.